What's your name? Hassan. And your name? Mohammed. Three no, his, his name is Three Tooth hey. Wonder. Hamid. Three Tooth, look, he's got hey, three tooth. Talk, three talk, tooth talk, wonder. Talk. Okay, thank you very much. Moroccans are always good for a laugh. So I'm beginning the trek to the base camp for Tukal. Should take about eight hours. <laughs> Souvenir easy. <laughs> Maintenant. What is your name? Fatta. Fatta. Well, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't buy it, but your turban looks great. They call sell me I think it's time. Good picture. Well, having carried the green tent, I was determined to use it. So the ascent begins at 7 a.m. and it's going to take about seven hours up to the summit and back again. Oh. 
Okay, stay where I'm too, girl. Thank you very much. Okay. Stop it. Well, this is the last tough ridge. It's very cold. I should have brought gloves, but I think we're all going to make it. Four hours up, and now we've got to get down. <laughs> Only mad dogs and Englishmen and Czechs go. Well, the Czechs gave me some socks to put on my hands and we stayed about five minutes at the summit. But the view was spectacular. Where are you from? What part of Czech? Czech, Czech Republic. Uh, which part? Pilsen. Pilsen. Pilsen and somebody from Prague. And somebody from I lived 13 years in Prague. Yeah. But I don't speak Czech. Yeah. I was teaching English there, but I never mastered your very difficult language, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Czech language. I was always going to leave after one year, and then never did, and it ended up being 13 years, you know. But I always said there's no point in doing it because it's so hard, you know. Next year I'll leave, next year I'll leave, and I never did. Would you do me a favor? This, this thing has no strap. I'd love to prove that I... Oh, shit, it's...
I did it, and the next day, after a very freezing night in my tent, it was a gloriously sunny day, and I headed back to Inville. Where's the woman? That's his dad yet. So it's safely back in Imlil and the comfort of my hotel. It was bloody difficult for me, but I didn't lose my head. Well, the Czechs and I had a decent meal in the refuge, but it was nice to be back in town and have a tagine. <laughs> I was going to say Imwil is a bit of a one-horse town, but in fact it's more like a hundred mule town. It's the base camp for everything that goes on the Tuka. In fact, it wouldn't really exist if it wasn't for the mountaineering business. Mm -hmm. 
The hotel owner at the Hotel de Toile was very nice and he let me leave my bag when I did the big trek for four days and he only charged me 30 dirham to sleep on his terrace in the back garden. Ah, Amethyst, very nice. All this stuff on the table. Can I film you? Five seconds. Yes, only yes. for me, only yeah, for me. Yes, yeah. Yes. Tell me your name, tell me your name again. My name is Lassen. Couscous <laughs> tea. <laughs> and your family name, family name. My name is Lamrarmri Lassen. Lamrarmri Lassen. Okay, thank you. And we're in Asni. <laughs> That was the garden I was telling you about. It's a very relaxing place to stay. Moroccans have a great sense of humour, but they're not very environmentally conscious, but they are trying to teach the kids a bit about it. By the way, this is where I slept. I had a visitor one morning. He thought there was no glass in the window. He couldn't get out. It's stuck. Oh, here we go. It really doesn't know what to do, and I don't know what to do with it either. Okay, you're stuck. Oh no. It's difficult with life sometimes. Well, I spent many an hour editing here. What's it called? Hotel Tukal Etal Etal. 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 There's the exhausted mummy with her new babies. Did she have to have kittens on my bed? I can get another one. There's another one on the floor somewhere. There's one lost, I think. Ah, she's finally decided to look after this little one. Well, I'll have to find another bench to sleep on. This one's been well and truly commandeered.
Well, I definitely feel safer here than on that mountain. As the Chinese say, we are born wet, cold and hungry, and then it gets worse. They give me power. They're helping me. Hello. They always did.